Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode, actually episode 11 of the Old Man Gingerbeard Let's Play Minecraft Vanilla 1.12 server awesome goodness Minecraft stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're back at it now. Uh, you might have noticed the audio quality of my last video was a little bit bad. I've been messing around. See, I use my TV as my monitor, and sometimes at night when I want to just like lay down and watch, you know, YouTube videos or movies or something, I'll switch it over to uh, just to use the TV audio out. But apparently, I must have hit the record option and selected my headset, which is uh, a Razer Chroma something or other. But the microphone's not terrible, but it's not as good as the Yeti that I like to use. But yeah, so sorry about that. I'll see. And I was during the editing, I was like, man, this audio sounds garbage. And then I looked and I noticed what would it happen. And I thought, well, I don't feel like re-recording the entire episode since we did some caving and stuff like that. And there was some some monsters and things. But uh, yeah, so I figured, you know what, whatever. We'll just make sure not to do it on the next one. And we're good. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably check to make sure that the audio was re was corrected again because I have unplugged my mic a few times. One moment, be right back. Just double check. Yep, we're good. It's set to the Yeti, so that's good. But uh, so what I was doing today, I was doing some mining. Um, I've been doing a lot of AFKing and just enchanting in general, uh, trying to get the the best enchants possible. And I must have wasted probably thirteen or fourteen, or not really thirteen, like. 10 maybe 10 diamond picks trying to get decent enchants but i realized that the best way to get decent enchants is not to sit there and try the dice game or the rng in regards to the actual enchanting table but to enchant books with the best that you can get and use those on your items so that's what i did i spent probably oh five hours i think messing around with enchanting so like I and I've come to the conclusion that I need a better exp farm because my little zombie farm while it's nice and it's good for a pinch uh, I need something else so I think we're gonna need to push to the end here soon that way we can get uh, an ender farm and then farm XP that way but uh, yeah so I've been doing these mine shafts and they go so far so ridiculously far well, these don't because they haven't quite been finished, but like these ones here, let me see, let me get back to it. Like this one here, that one just goes on for ages and ages. What I'll do is I'll I'll get four stacks of torches and I'll go down the mine shaft until I run out of torches and then I come back. Because, you know, I figured that's, that's the best option. So I haven't started using the top sections first. I figured I'd wait to use those, but... Uh, one thing else has made me realize is this right here. This is annoying. We need an automatic smelter. We need something that can just put everything in, hit a few buttons, and the fuel's distributed, the items distributed. Like life is is peachy after that. So, um, what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna create a auto smelter. Now, I say create as in I'm creating it for the first time from scratch, but I'm not. I'm not that good at the game, so I'm going to be using another person's build, and I'm actually looking at one from a YouTuber named Wells Knight Gaming, which I started watching some of his stuff. He's, he's actually pretty cool. He runs on the Hermitcraft server, but yeah, so I'm using his auto smelting thing that he put together, and even in his video, he specifies that he didn't exactly create he said it's too simple to be the first time it's ever been used but um, i'm going to use it now i don't know where i'm going to put it um, this is our mine shaft and everything else like that now with glass and things like that i can make a, an item elevator so eventually when we get a nice big open because we're going to have probably 20 or 30 floors up we're going to have a giant storage room um, and we're just gonna we're gonna make it go nuts. Um, 
So I was thinking, you know, we could use the Viking house for things, but that's more of just a picture build. Uh, like you put it together and you you walk away from it. Like the this mountain that we're in is gonna be it's gonna be our home for the most part. So everything we need is gonna be in here, or at least our jumping off point. So eventually we're gonna build other areas and do things in other areas and stuff like that. And we can move everything over at this point, but. I'm trying to think of where where we should put it. I thought, you know, maybe it would be cool to have it kind of over the mine shaft, right? So that you have to go up a bunch a series of ladders or whatnot to get up to get to it. But I thought, well, that might be a little too much right there, right? So I was thinking either start up there because we have this. And I think I need like a 15 by 9 or something like that room or a 20 by 25 room or something. It has to be north and south or east and west actually because you need powered rails. So uh, let's, where, where are we at right now? Which way are we facing? So that's north and that's west. So it's going to have, so it can either be up there, which I think we might use. Well, it's kind of grown on me. I don't know. But I mean, realistically, I wanted to use all that for, for mining. So we may just stick it up over here, but kind of over here. So why don't we, why don't we put it up here? I think that would be the better option to do. Let's see. Maybe up here? Kind of back here? But make it up so it's not like right here. Here, let's maybe make it like up here. Set it up there. What do you guys think of that? Ooh, a little bit of lag spike there. That's interesting. Give me the mod. Give me the items. So let's 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 you know what? Let's uh, let's mess around. Let's see what we can get going on here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dig out the area. Okay, and hollow it all out and then I'll build the thing on camera so you guys can watch it get built or built I guess I should say correctly but um, yeah let's see do I want to put it there we got there or up there I don't know guys you think it should be above the mine mm. nope it's going to go over here so I'm going to go ahead and hollow it out I'll be back in a little bit we'll see you guys soon all right, everybody, we are back, and I went ahead and I cleared it out. So now you can see that I've got all of this taken out here. I, it doesn't need to be this high, but I figured, you know what? I'm in the room. Might as well knock it out, get everything set here. So here is... Let's see, am I doing this wrong? I think I'm doing this wrong. I think I need hoppers on top too. Do I need hoppers on top? I do. Okay. Eh, no big deal. So we need to do this right here as the top loader for the items. I forgot all about this part. So, okay. So here's the basic situation. So here we go. We have this here. Actually, you know what? That doesn't look right. Give me one moment. I'm going to double check a few things. I'll be right back. Okay. Nope. I was right. I'm back. This is correct. It just for some reason didn't look right when I was doing it, but I don't know. So what we're going to do, let me show you what I'm doing here. So we're going to go ahead and go one, two, and then one, two, three. Over here again. One, two, three. Boom. Like so, right? So then we got these here. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and jump up the one here again. Get these hoppers up in here. So if, you, if you're if not familiar with these things yet, um, this is an auto smelter, basically. So we've got it here. Now, I'm going to be using some polished andesite. And I wonder, can you make these into blocks? No, okay. So I'm using polished andesite. And I'm going to use that right here. Three, and then over here again. So that's, you know, kind of like that. Now, 
that's basically that. Now we're going to do another couple blocks there and go around. But I'm thinking about doing polished andesite stairs there too. What do you guys think of that? Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I, I made a whole bunch of new furnaces when I had those sitting right there. So I don't know what the deal was with those, but let's see. Can we make these into stairs? Is this a thing? No. So, um, well, whoop. No, it's cobblestone. We're cobblestone stairs. Um, let's see here. What do I got? What do I got stairs wise? Do I have anything stairs wise? Um, yeah, let's stone brick it. Let's stone brick it. We'll see if that works. Cause here's what I'm thinking. Cover everything up. Boom, boom. And then, oh, so slow. What do you think of that? Does that work? I think that works. Then we got the andesite. Where's it at? There it is. Wait, that's not right. So yeah, let's just finish this up here. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to put some torches in here because the light levels are starting to drop, it looks like. Boom. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad, right? That looks all right. Let's see here. So do we use... Do we use polished andesite again? Because we have to make another set like this, right? I think it's too much andesite, a little too bland. I think it might be a little too bland. Let's see. Let's find out what we could use here. I'm going to put a little more torches down here. That's all. They're going to get moved anyway because there's some powered rail that's going to go there. Yeah, I had to do a lot of AFK. Or not AFK, but I had to do a lot of mining to get some more gold. I was really low on gold. Let's see. We got over here. Um, can we make polished diorite? I don't really, like, what do you guys think of diorite? Let's, let's take a look at it and see if we like it here. So we got, I mean, we got these blocks. We might as well use them, right? See what they're all, what they're good for. Didn't I, did I just? Ah, I didn't even put it in my bags. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's just do this and see what we can find out here. Okay. Polished diorite. Let's see what you got. Diorite's one of those blocks that a lot of people don't like. Um, I was watching a video of the day, and this guy was actually paying people on his server to get rid of the diorite. Um, mm, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. We'll use it for now. Ooh. We'll use it for now just because we want to get the build finished. But I think I may go back and change that into some nether brick. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, let's see here. Get some aesthetics in here. So, yeah, we got that right there. So when you come in, it's like boom, because then this is going to then, right? So it goes like this, boop, 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 and down. <laughs> now I'm going to have to put some torches up here. Because you know the mobs will start spawning on me if I'm not careful, and then it'll be over for me. We'll put a roof in here anyway and stuff oh, stuff like that. While I'm up here, let's see. Let's go ahead and do the powered rail. Now, 
Now, fun fact, and I know I mentioned, I probably mentioned this earlier, but you have to do powered rail east to west. And because if you do it north to south, then, oh, did I forget? Oh, I forgot the hoppers on the back here. I was like, there's something missing. All right, just about, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. What the deuce? That was awkward. Yeah, so when you put the powered rail on here, if you did it um, north to south, that would sit like this for a moment, right? But then as soon as you got down here to put the ones here, they would do what they just did right there, and they would lock up, and then you'd have this ridiculous, like, they wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. So, okay. Now let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and do this here. And let's see, what else do, how else do I need to do this? I gotta remember how to hook this up. <laughs> oh, I watched like four videos on how to do this, the same one like five times, and now I'm having trouble remembering how to do it. But yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? So, you know, everything will work out. Set this up here, okay. Give me a couple minutes here, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I am back. And so I did a lot more work off camera because I didn't realize that I was off camera. I had my coffee cup was actually blocking my little fraps indicator that let me know that I was in fact not recording. So I did all this work. You know, you kind of already saw this, but I put a floor in here. I did the redstone. I got everything all set up and I did it all thinking that you guys were right there with me and I feel terrible, but I'm way too lazy to rip it all up. So let me just go ahead and explain it to you. So you already knew we had these things set up right here, right? The hoppers are set up. They're dropping everything into it. These hoppers are here. Well, these levers here power this rail and this rail because you can't have the hopper just sit right here because if you did, then the mine cart hopper would just sit right there, drop everything into that one and then be on its way. So we have it set up here to power those two, and we've got a little system over here. Oh, no, it okay, fell off. So this is all the complicated redstone, and there's a powered rail underneath that minecart uh, chest and that minecart chest there. There's a one repeater back here. Redstone climbs up here and powers a, a powered rail underneath those there. And, yeah, that's, that's essentially it. I've got that lever there powering that redstone, that lever powering that redstone and so on and so on so yeah this this actually shouldn't like i wish i could have done all this on camera but i'm gonna get rid of the diorite here or the is this diorite yeah it's diorite i'm gonna get rid of it and put another brick in because i'm having trouble like i can't reach can't reach that there so i don't know i may have to put like a little some sort of like block or something or a step right here just so that i can jump up and like get that because it's like it's really tough yeah so i'm having trouble and i think it's because of these right here so if i like take that out then wow i can't even reach that i wonder if something's messed up with my game here because this i should be able to reach that but anyway anywho i'll just replace that for now and we'll show you how it works now if for some reason this doesn't work out and it's just proving to be a hassle, then I'm going to get rid of it. But we flip this switch here. That activates the redstone in the back. That redstone then goes through. You see how the coal's powering it all. We've got the nether rack in here. Coal's in here. And so on and so on. It's not quite an even distribution. I wonder why that's doing that. Huh. All right, all right. See it all loads up into here. Like so. Let's see, do we have any more netherrack? Did we get rid of it all? See, and that's how it works right there. They just constantly do this. They go up and over there. 
Now, I don't know if you, if you're on a multiplayer server or something like that, you might not want to use this build. It might, uh, or if you do use it sparingly, I don't know if this amount of redstone is going to lag your server or not. I mean, there's not a lot of moving parts. There's minecarts, so you're probably going to be fine. But you know, it's good to, it's good to be cautious. So. I've kind of decorated a little bit. It was about right here after I was decorating. I was looking at it when I realized that my little fraps indicator was still red. So, but yeah, that's kind of what it is there. I see the. So I'm gonna put a wall here. I'm probably gonna drive this back a little bit more, and then have it up go against here, and then decorate all this here. Or I may have this go down. Actually, we can't really go down any further. We're at the end. But yeah, so right now we've got our auto smelter and. That took longer than I expected it to take. So I'm just going to turn this off here. Boop. And boop. See? Right there. Boom. It's wonderful. Magical. <laughs> but yeah. Even distribution of the coal. Even distribution of the, the items for the most part. See? There we go. Ooh, let's go make some nether brick. But... I'm going to rip all this out. Probably do that off camera. Just do a little cleanup down here. So we'll do this right here like that. Boom. Oh, come on. Boom, nether brick. Pow. <laughs> all right. Now let's go, let's go clean this up a little bit here. Let's go clean this up. So what do you think? Let's, hmm. Let's knock this stuff out right here. Switch it for that. So yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I did have one other option that I was willing to explore just because these are also light sources and we can get rid of some of the torches, but I was thinking about magma blocks now you guys are probably tired of that because the other room that I've got is a whole magma block but I don't know I think that looks kind of cool right there I think that would look neat you know as opposed to that or do you think I should make the accents like this stuff right here nether brick and that across the top magma stone what do you guys think which what are you guys feeling right there so yeah, let's go ahead and get all that broken andesite or diorite. So, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it. I'm a sucker for magma block. I think it's actually pretty sweet. I'm, I'm really enjoying the block. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what you think. Here's a fun fact, though. If you, if you hold shift on the magma block, you don't take damage. Found that out the hard way, but okay. Well, I think I'm going to call it for today, guys. Sorry, this was supposed to be built on camera, but it doesn't. So I'll put a link in the description of this for Wells Knight, the guy who has the video on there that had it up that I got it from. If you want to watch it, he does a nice like 15 minute how to video on how to build it. So, but it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's really simple enough. I'm, and you know what I mean? I may just not. Well, I'll put the link up. If you want to watch it, I'll put the link up. So, But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and call it, guys. If you like what you see and you're having a good time with the series, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you don't like it, you know, hit the thumbs down. Let me know exactly why you don't like it. If there's something I'm doing wrong, you think I'm doing something, you know, that I shouldn't be doing. Oh, oh, crap. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. Is there any? Okay, let's just do this. Let's go do this real quick while I'm here. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, like that. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, crap. Oh, breaking stuff already. But yeah, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. You know, comment. Tell me what you think of it. If you know a more efficient than what I've got here, then let me know. I used to have one that had chests up here. You just load up your fuel and then load up your iron and stuff like that, and it would go through, and it was a super spelter. It was like one of these, though. Like, it was just, 
It was just one side. I mean, you could build two, I guess, and probably put it on two, but I don't know if that works in 1.12, but I'm happy with this one. I think this is going to suit our needs, and I kind of like that nether brick going around the top. I may get rid of that magma stone and just use another brick, but yeah, so all right, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. You guys have a good night. We'll talk to you. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.